What a morning. Anyway, how are we all doing? Um, we, me and Dad, got done helping the neighbour uh, finish his spring barley yesterday. Uh, so we helped him combine his wheat and his spring barley. And got done, got done yesterday, which was pretty good. Probably the earliest uh, he's got done, I think he said. Um, that was Martin, by the way. And then today, the plan is we went to go and have a look at the beans. Sort of four o'clock yesterday when we got finished for them. Uh, and they're basically ready to combine. So we've got to have a bit of a move about in the shed and try and squeeze some beans in somewhere. Um, and then go cutting. So that's the pump all yoked on. Got the uh, lay flats on the front here and there. Uh, thought I'd just show you the reservoir while, uh, while I'm here. So there's the end of my suction hose. I've had to clamp two together. Uh, and you can see where the water level was, 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 uh, on them reeds there where they're dead. Uh, and you can see the, the level of where it was at. It was nearly, nearly level with this jetty here. And this is 50 foot deep. And this is only taking water, pumping water onto one field. So if we was pulling from two fields out of here, she'd nearly be, she'd nearly be drained. But I know a lot of people um, who haven't got water, who are struggling, but like I said in the previous video, I think I said, um, Dad dug this as an insurance policy for years like this. Uh, so we've always got water. So whatever water we take out of here, we'll pump back in November, December time. And likewise, whatever we take out the dikes, we have to pump back in uh, as well. Uh, so yeah, that's just an insight of how dry it is. Aha, now then, we've uh, just took the header down there and the combine, Dad's making the start, just setting up the sieves and uh, just generally setting up the combine, the combine. However, it'll be interesting to see what the beans are like uh, and whether we grow them again, but at the moment, well, we, I suppose we can't really write them off. It's uh, been a dry year, dry season. There's beans at the bottom of the plant, but at the top, the sun has just sort of singed them. And uh, there's not a lot of beans, not a lot of pods at the top. Uh, no. We're looking for an alternative to uh, grow instead of sugar beet. I think they're going to come out of sugar beet. So, who knows? So, I got back to the field, he's already got a tank full. We've gone, what, a couple of times down here, both headlands, down that side. I wonder if they yield better than peas, because the last year we grew peas weren't very good. But in a dry year, We'll see. Uh, we'll see what we get. He's going. He's flying. Six, seven k. hear me the reason why we are cutting these today um, is it's not about some rain on Mondays which could shale a few of these out uh, you see what I mean from the tops of these there should be pods on here but they've just basically been baked so uh, baked beans they've been baked by the Sun and the heat and they're falling off or just not grown at the top there and there's all pods down the bottom here so dad's literally leaving nothing uh, there's the odd bean in here that's obviously the pods 
have actually just started to open up where I can find one or not but they've just started to open up and, uh, and then they could fall on the floor if we get some more extreme heat um, so yeah there's a risk of them shaling out and then we could lose more so why not combine them it's the last thing we've got to combine uh, and then harvest 2022 is done for us a bit dusty so I've just tipped the second load uh, as you can tell it's a bit dusty uh, if you got me on Instagram I'll, I'll put a story up when I'm unloading I can't see where the elevator is tipping into the shed it's that dusty um, but good job I got a mask on that's all I'm saying good job the old combine's got a cap on her because uh, I think dad will be black by the time he's finished um, but anyway, we're in the second field. I uh, don't know what tons an acre, probably one and a half ton an acre, I uh, guess. Might even be two ton, I don't know, that might be a bit optimistic. Uh, well, I'd say one and a half ton. I've been doing no worse than one and a half ton an acre, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what Dad thinks when uh, we're finished cutting them. But yeah, last day of harvest. Last day of this road, maybe, no, no. go out of sugar beet which I think we're on about doing um, you know dad's not keen on growing it anymore this that and the other it takes such a lot of work after once the sugar beet's been lifted to get the land ready to drill wheat um, you know what other possibilities is there I know there's there's linseed but we don't really want to grow that uh, oats is another one uh, whether we have some more beans, depending on how well you know we do out of these, um, who knows? But let me let me know in the comments what you think. What sort of crops uh, do you guys grow? Um, and yeah, put it in the comments. Anyone like to know how dry it is in Cambridgeshire? like stepping stones told you you'd lose your phone down there look at that all the way through the field I don't know whether you can see there's like two or three maybe four irrigators over there running what's the point it's 32 degrees by the time the water hits the potatoes the sun's just gonna evaporate it, it's almost like a waste of water it annoys me when people are irrigating in this heat but you know that's why we irrigate at night time because it's so much cooler it's going to go down to 20 degrees probably 17 degrees at night you know maybe people don't want to get out of bed
just over there finishing the last little bit I'm walking to the trailer because I've just been dropped off we're nearly done so I put my sunglasses on to cover up my little tired eyes but oh, it's 2022 it's done Ooh, it's been pretty good to say the least it's been good uh, I can't say she's been bad um, you know we had a couple of knife sections go double finger other than that the 62 whew, she's gone another season um, anyway bit of a short video but we're finished I'm gonna go to bed and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next one it's been a pleasure thank you very much for watching see you later Ta.